الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم ولا فهم لنا إلا ما فهمتنا إنك أنت الجواد الكريم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله We're going to catch for a situation that just happened I just received this mail بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم So this brother is an Ahbab of Tabliq work Jama'at Tabliq from Malaysia and I have watched your recent explanation video about coronavirus and get to know that most of the victims around the world are non-believers but the situation in Malaysia is totally different Today, 25th March the total death victim of COVID-19 are 20 person the first victim is a priest or Christian priest and the rest 19 people are all Ahbab of Tabligh work according to the report first positive COVID-19 case occurred in Malaysia on 25th January from three Chinese tourists there was a gathering of old workers and ulama in our markas in, in Seri Pataling, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia on 29 February to 3rd March which attended about more than 12,000 Ahbab more than 12,000 people gathering for 5 days 4 days all the positive cases and deaths of COVID-19 in Malaysia increased drastically after the gathering so that gathering was the boom of coronavirus in Malaysia and our authority proves it changed from the gathering, it changed from the gathering. They proved that all those uh, contamination came from the tablir gathering. At the same time, there was few other non-believers gathering, which attended bigger volume, more people, but not even one positive corona case. This is really confusing and also a very hard period for Malaysian Ahbab and tablir work in Malaysia. For your knowledge, the tablir work in Malaysia was on its best in the history before the incident. Okay. It was at the top. Allah Allah. We knew there was sense to know. So we're going to catch inshallah for the jinns behind this thing. But I want to say something that I was I read about this gathering and that it spread the coronavirus. And what I read was in the gathering there was people from twelve different countries that attended the gathering and they have brought the coronavirus so the first Chinese people that had the virus in Malaysia it's not from them that the virus went into the Tablir gathering in the gathering Jama'at groups came from many many countries that's how it came and now the, Mus the Jin said that they are spreading the virus and the Muslims took control of the virus and putting it on the kafirs so that's what they said but now the virus has become worldwide but still we ask Allah to protect us but all the religions ask Allah to protect them but we ask Allah to protect us some jinn said we should read Yasin every day to protect ourselves but that was a mistake because Rasulullah said the same thing that the uh, health authorities say Rasulullah said, when the waba, when the epidemic comes in the country, you must not go there. If you are there, you must not go out. So we should not have brought, made the gathering and brought people from outside where coronavirus does exist. But of course, if it was known, even the authorities would not have let them to come inside Malaysia. But the virus was faster than the humans. That's what happened in all the world. So this is why spiritualists, Allah did not protect us because we did not do what Rasulullah told us to do. You cannot want Allah to protect you and you behave your own way. Uh, and we must not have, and he said, Omar had this problem when they were in campaign and there was uh, the epidemic somewhere and he said, okay, let's go away. And someone said, do you want to run away from the Qadr of Allah? He said, I'm leaving the Qadr of Allah, going to the Qadr of Allah. And one Sahabi 
came Abu Abaid al Jarrah and said, Yes, I heard the Rasulullah said, If that happens in the country, don't enter. If it, if it is there, don't go out. So it doesn't come to you, but if you are there, you must not go out and spread it. But we're going to catch, inshallah, and see on the jinn's world what is happening, and if we can help so that it will go down in Malaysia. May Allah Ta'ala help us. <coughs> Bismillah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم من ولي الله الذي نزل الكتاب وهو يتولى الصالحين أينما تكون ياس بكم الله جميعا إن الله على كل شيء قدير أينما تكون ياس بكم الله جميعا إن الله على كل شيء قدير حرمت عليكم الميتة الدم واللحم والخنزير مهل لغير الله به حرمت عليكم الميتة الدم واللحم والخنزير مهل لغير الله به براءة من الله ورسوله للذين عاهدت من المشركين بر الله نور السماوات والأرض الله نور السماوات والأرض الله نور السماوات والأرض so what's happening in Malaysia with the virus what do you want to know exactly? Why did the virus spread between the Muslims and the Tabligh people? It was too easy because they have habits that they come close together so much. So it was easy to contaminate them. So you, the jinns, were there to contaminate them? Yes, we did not like what they want. They have been sent to stop them, to stop them going forward, and that was an occasion. Pardon? It was an occasion that we couldn't miss. Uh, and who sent you to stop their tablet work? Qui vous envoie? Many different jinns have been sent. So, how many different people have sent you to do that? Eighteen. Is it what? Eighteen magicians? What? No, humans. And, and also, uh, ma uh, jinn magicians working for humans. So, all, all these eighteen are in Malaysia? No. Five outside Malaysia. In close by countries, so from Indonesia and the rest in Malaysia. So it is magicians, people who do magic that have done magic on Tablir to stop them. Not only, also there is financial interest that are there. We have been very well paid to do this job. So, tell me, now you are Muslim, huh? Uh, so, if it was not the jinns that have been sent against Tablir Jamaat, it could not have been spread like that. Not exactly. There is a biological factor that gives us advantage in its propagation. We, he said, we can't, we can't change the biological factor, but we can push the people to go in the wrong places so that they will catch the virus. Donc, vous poussez les gens à être au mauvais endroit pour attraper le virus. Mais la maladie même, vous pouvez pas la toucher. So it says, we push the people to be on the on the bad place to catch the virus, but we cannot touch the virus or affect it ourselves. That's what they say. Okay. That was our strategy. Now, what is the situation in Malaysia? It's a bit calm. But others are going to be sent to do another uh, wave movement in population and to put panic. And so they lose their uh, calm. We will not do. Okay. That was 
supposed uh, we were supposed to make chaos okay let's get all the other ones that have not come yet and that are supposed to spread the virus إن المنافقين في الدرك الأسفل من النار 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 إن المنافقين Baiklah guys, sampai di sini dulu perjumpaan kita. Website Syekh Abdul Rauf Ben Halima ada di www.benhalimaabderauf.fr. Silakan bagikan video ini kepada orang-orang yang Anda sayangi. Semoga Allah Ta'ala berikan pahala melimpah kepada Anda. Tambahan dari saya sebagai admin pengisi dubbing video ini. Pesan untuk siapa saja yang terketuk hatinya untuk menerima Islam sebagai agamanya. Silahkan ucapkanlah dua kalimat syahadat. Yaitu asyadu ala ilaha ilaullah, wa asyadu ana muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. Masuk Islam itu sangat mudah dan dosa-dosa kalian sebelumnya akan dihapuskan, seperti bayi yang baru lahir. Semoga bermanfaat. Mari kita tutup dengan doa kafara majelis. Agar amal baik kita kekal sampai hari kiamat dan dosa-dosa kita diampunkan Allah Ta'ala. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika, asyadu ala ilaha ila anta astagfiruka wa atubu ilaika. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.